Hey guys, so today I we were supposed to go side by side, me and Bailey, but Bailey decided she's a bit sore and we were honestly just too lazy to go. So what I am gonna do is I got some new Elka shocks for the sled. Um, and w that was actually what we picked up from Steve's yesterday. And so me, I am by no means a mechanic at all. Like I barely wrench on my stuff. And I wish I did more, but I mean, we don't have a ton of room to move around in here. And I don't have a, t a bunch of tools to be honest. So to be able to do all the things that I want to do on the 240 and the sleds and the side by side, is just kind of unrealistic and also I don't just have the mechanical skills to do it so uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna attempt we'll s I know I'll do it but we'll see how long it takes me um, but yeah Looks like it got a little bit dirty on the way back. Uh, let's see. Right here. Oh yeah. Get a little wiped out. That's a bit better. Sweet. Now let's unbox this thing. Looks like we got one of the rears, rears here. Elka Stage 5s. This thing's gonna be sick. Another rear. Dang, these things are clean. It's so thick. <clears throat> Hello? A camera? Oh. Point like straight down. Look at those bad sallies. Wow. That's yeah. nice. Look who came to visit. I look homeless. My shirt is literally backwards. That's all right. That's pretty usual. You're lucky it's not inside out right now. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> They're usually inside out and backwards. Uh, but yeah, I'm putting on the new shocks. How's that going? Pretty good. Yeah. I just unboxed it. Got the sled off the truck. And the desk? Real nice. Yep. Yeah, I think it was a trailer. It's an animal. You're an animal. <laughs> I am. I look homeless. No one's going to think I'm a homeless bum that you're keeping in that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh I came to tell you that I did some homework and I just came to say hi. You did some homework and you're coming to say hi? Yeah. Nice. That's all. And cool. I well, think I need to start editing our right. one year, our like, Overview video, but I'm thinking about going to, to uh, Starbucks to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to bring me back to Starbucks? Well, I'm gonna be a while. Yeah. You want the computer? Yeah. Probably. But maybe if I get my shit together. Okay, we'll get your shit together and do it. <sighs> okay. Kill the game. You gonna be in here? Yeah, I'm gonna be in here putting these on. Cool. Look at them. That's nice. Okay, well, goodbye, Bye, have fun. See you in a bit. Let me know if you're going. I will. 
Bye. Bye. So I think this one's gonna be a little bit easier. The other side was a little bit tight, like they have the oil uh, reservoir up in there. So it was tight on the hand and whatever. But over on this side, all we have is the exhaust. So So there's the exhaust <clears throat> and the bolt is like, it's probably pretty dark for you guys, but the bolt is like right there. Right there. So it's actually pretty open, should be easy to get, it, well it will be easy to get to. And uh, yeah, get this thing out of here. This shot, this shot came out super easy, like, um, yeah, that bolt wasn't hidden at all. It was very open. And then just to, just to get the shock out, I just put my foot down on the ski, kind of pushed down on it and yeah, it just dropped right out. It was a bit more simple than the other side, but still super easy, both sides. Very simple, pretty much brain dead easy because I can do it. <laughs> and yeah, this skid's gonna be a bitch though. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. So yeah, moving on. Look at how sick these things look. Looks so mean on there. Dang, yeah, no. <clears throat> not a, they're also there for looks wise, I guess. I mean, mostly performance, but they do look really freaking cool on there. The big reservoirs and everything. So sick. So in the user manual, it said, get the back of the sled up. So that's exactly what I did. But it's kind of funny that <clears throat> I found a rope and a hole up in the, up there. And uh, Brendan must have put it in a while ago, but it's a little bit ratchet. Yeah, it's a bit of a bitch in the back here just because there's a lot going on. So it's the toughest part. But still, it's pretty simple stuff. So I guess we'll start working away at this and see how long this takes. But so far, everything's going pretty smooth. So, got this rear shock out. Um, pretty simple. Uh, the one part that gave me a, an issue was I was being an idiot and didn't re realize this sleeve was in the back of the shock here, so it was holding it. So, that was my only issue. Straightforward again. Super simple so far. I got the front shock off the skid and super easy. Um, no problems, super straightforward, and uh, yeah, time to make the change. These things are so sick. 